Welcome to This or That video series, produced by UFIFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Today, we are going to explore two similar native animals, the Florida panther and the bobcat. Here are a few tips to help you the next time you encounter one of them. Florida panthers are large, wild cats, weighing up to 160 pounds and growing up to 7 feet in length from nose to tail. Their tails can be 20 to 30 inches long. They have rounded ears and a long, crooked tail almost touching the ground. You will notice black markings on the tip of the tail, ears, and around the snout. Adults have yellowish-brown coats while the kittens are spotted. Bobcats are much smaller, weighing up to 35 pounds and will rarely be longer than four feet long. They have pointed hairs at the end of their ears and a black tipped bob tail, hence the name bobcat. The bobcat's tail is only four to six inches long and often curls upward at the end, exposing its whitish underside. Their coat color varies from light gray, yellowish brown, brown, and reddish brown, and is covered with dark spots. They have spotted coats both as adults and kittens. The Florida panther is listed as a federally designated threatened species and is extremely rare to see. They are primarily found in southwest Florida, below the Caloosahatchee River. Data shows no occurrences of the Florida panther in Pinellas County. Bobcats, while more common, are not a listed species, are most active at dawn, dusk, and through the night making them less likely for us to see. You may be more likely to see evidence of these species in the form of their footprints. Wildcat footprints tend to lack claw marks due to their ability to retract them while walking. If you see a clawless paw print, take a closer look. The footprints of the Florida panther are about three and a quarter inches long, almost twice the size of the bobcats, that are only about an inch and a half. So the next time you encounter one of them or their tracks, remember to note their overall size, coat color, tail length, ear shape, and footprint size. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from your UFIFAS Extension Pinellas County office.